What's up guys, my name is Melissa. About a month ago, we got to visit the Mile High City, Denver, Colorado. So here are some fun ideas that you can do when you get to visit yourself. The first one on the list is actually one of my favorite ones and that is the beer spa. You're gonna walk in this beautiful calming lounge with some great selections of beer, cider, and wine for you to choose from. Personally, I think it's more fun to pick and grab a beer from the lounge, but there's also room service to refill your drinks if you don't want to leave your private room. And the private room is just gorgeous. As you probably can tell, we had the date night package which looks super romantic, but this spa would also be fun to do with some friends or even on a solo experience to get some me time. First, you're gonna sweat and relax in the hot sauna. Then after your cold shower, you'll take a dip to that barrel beer bath. And no, you're not actually soaking in beer, but you are soaking in some ingredients used in making beer that is good for your skin, hair, and mind. Enjoy your warm bubbly beer bath infused with hops and barley while hydrating with an ice cold beer. Next is take a day trip to one of the most charming towns I've ever seen, Georgetown. It is a former silver mining camp that has a lot of history. You can explore, walk around, and check out their cute little shops, and hey, even their police station is looking super charming. Then, you must check out and get some tickets to the Georgetown Loop Railroad. It is a stunning vintage train that loops to Silver Plume and back to Georgetown. The ride would last for about an hour, but I truly wish that it was longer because it definitely felt like it was not enough. You walk in and look for your designated seats based on your tickets. Once the train starts, you can then take in the view and watch your windows to enjoy the peaceful scenery. I highly recommend getting a table for comfort and so that you can enjoy some snacks and drinks while sitting in the train. We came in during the holidays, so Santa was there to greet us all. Sitting in there felt so magical, making you feel like you are actually in a Hallmark movie. It's a truly unique experience. If you can, try to also come when it is snow season to get a different vibe. Next one is the Urban Put in downtown Denver. This is a super unique mini golf that you can enjoy with some drinks. Each 18 holes have amazing decorated setups that are themed around Denver's main attractions but with a little funky twist to it. It's something affordable to do with your friends but take note that after 8pm, it's only for adults that are 21 and over. Unfortunately, I didn't get to visit myself. I had no idea that it was closed on Mondays. I was super bummed about it. So if you plan on going here, make sure that you plan it on any day but Monday. Next is take a day trip to the Bishop Castle which kind of reminded me of Harry Potter's Hogwarts School. This is a long drive from Denver, but I can tell you that it is so worth the drive because it is a one-of-a-kind castle that you'll be visiting in the middle of nowhere. Apparently, this castle right here was built entirely by one man named Jim Bishop by hand for over 50 years. He's been stacking stones and creating a masterpiece with some ironwork and stained glass walls. We got there pretty late, but I can imagine with all those huge windows that this place gets a lot of amazing natural light inside. This is so perfect for weddings and photo shoots. The warning signs at the front did say that you have to enter at your own risk and you are responsible for your own safety. This did intimidate me at first and got me extra careful to look everywhere I walk. I know I got so scared going up that spiral staircase, especially at night when we only had our phone lights to guide us. You can climb as high as you want on its tower, but it does get intimidating when you are up there, especially if you're afraid of heights. It's so crazy to think that this place is completely free to visit, but you can make a donation to support his work. This quirky roadside attraction is wild and majestic, definitely something you do not want to miss. And lastly is Meow Wolf. This is a cool walkthrough art experience that is made to be interactive, so you can feel free to walk around and mess around with things like it is your own playground. There are multiple rooms and art exhibits with different quirky themes, so there's so much to discover. It's fun to find some hidden pathways as you really don't know what is next. You'll be curious, confused, and even lost in this trippy world. You can tell that a lot of work and a lot of talent has been put to create this different universe. Make sure to give yourself at least 2 hours to explore all of these mind-boggling installations that are out of this world. Thank you so much for staying till the end. I hope that these were some useful ideas for your next trip. And I hope to see you all in the next adventures. Bye!